Siobhan here back with a brand new video and I know you can't believe it it's me but today we have what's on my jailbroken iPhone 10 so if you haven't heard guys iOS 11.3.1 has been jailbroken and your boy is super super excited and on this device right here guys I have tons of awesome jailbreak tweaks my favorite jailbreak tweaks are on here and I can't wait to share with you guys so if you're excited for this video if you were waiting for this video if you're a new subscriber or if you're an old subscriber I want you to smash that like button let's try to hit 300 likes on this video right here guys and also if you're new please subscribe because there's tons of new jailbreak tweaks coming on this channel and more reviews and some awesome videos are on the way trust me so I'm back and I'm ready and I'm here to stay I took a break and it was well deserved because I was going through a lot of lot of stuff and I just had to take a break and ease off but today is the day guys without any further ado let's look what's on my jailbroken iPhone 10 let's go man okay guys so here is my iPhone 10 iOS 11.3.1 jailbroken and first things first guys I wanted to show you my lock screen so my lock screen as you can see I'm using June's iPhone repo to get this widget right here and also if you look closely in the background you could see like the un animated weather going on in the background that's all because of June's iPhone repo lock plus so if you guys didn't know I'm an affiliate of June's iPhone repo. So if you want to add this repo, I'll have the links down below and you could use my code also SHEVI7 at checkout for 50% off for everything. So you get access to the entire June's iPhone repo if you want to use it. So that's just a tip right there. So yeah, that's basically my lock screen. If you look up in the status bar as well, you can see that I have battery percent X. If you guys didn't know with the iPhone 10, it normally just shows the battery icon and not show the percentage. So this tweak, it removes the battery icon and puts the percentage up there. And that's basically it for my lock screen until you see my passcode. So if I don't use Face ID and have passcodes, you can see my passcode is different because of simple passcodes that's the tweak i use also so let me just enter my passcode or just use face id let me just use face id okay so this is my home screen as of now guys super simple and i love it i think i need to add some widgets down at the bottom right here but without any further ado let me just get this out the way the wallpaper will be linked down below and also the theme i'm using is called muse 3 I'll have everything in the description, don't worry about it. The theme I'm using is Muse 3 and also paired with Anemone. I also use Anemone to hide my icon labels because as you can see, there's no icon labels here right now. And also, the badges has a different color. That's because of blurry badges. So I use a tweak called blurry badges. Down the bottom right here, I have a different icon, I mean a different dock. That's because of floaty docks. So it's an iPad-like dock for your, your iOS device. So on this side, it's my most recent app. And on this side, it's my favorited app, the app that I purposely put in the docks. So every time I open another app, it would come down here, most frequently used or something like that. Next up, guys, I want to show you my control center. And I could invoke my control center by doing it the stock way, by swiping up here or I could use bottom control X and I could use the bottom right here to swipe up which I think is way more useful especially when you're holding the phone um, like normally trying to swipe up to the top I think that's just more like it's just more work to me so yeah bottom control X also as you can see my control center looks a bit different that's because of a couple tweaks I have installed now first thing first you can see that my toggles widget right here has 
it's everything is differently arranged I'm, I'm gonna show you the tweak that I use to get that if I scroll down right here let me find it because obviously your boy don't remember the name so let me find that tweak for you guys it's called better CC 10 so this is how I have it this is my settings right here better CCX the module size for the connectivity module is too wide and three tall and the music module setting is too wide and too tall which is the regular one so yeah and if you guys didn't realize I have dark mode enabled and the tweak that I use for dark mode is called Noctis so Noctis is really nice because it gives it like a system wide dark mode and you could also choose the apps that you want to put into dark mode so by going to my settings you can see that nice dark mode especially at night it looks amazing if I go into my folder icons my folders you can see that black background right there that's because of Noctis as well and if you guys are wondering how my tweaks are in folders this is because of preference organizer 2 I'll have the repository down below in the description for that as well guys so let me show you another thing that I have is you see that that's called cylinder so that's another tweet that I use because swiping normally is just not as fun as swiping and see my icons roll away so let me go into settings and share the tweaks right here um, cylinder cylinder right here and effects this is the setting that I'm using curl and roll away that's just the simple one I'm using you could you could randomize all of these guys and make it crazy but I'm a simple guy next thing that I have on here guys is Airify now Airify is this icon up here oh look at that that's called pico banners so you get a tiny banner at the top right there so oh great timing pico banners gives you a tiny banner if it's long it will scroll through i think it's cleaner but what i was i was talking about um what i was talking about again oh yeah airify i was speaking about airify so yeah it's a different volume hood it's way cleaner than the one that apple gives you if you look at the top right here you could see it activate every time i hit the volume up or volume down and i think it just it's way better to use than the one that apple gives you where it pops up with a big screen in the middle and it's just really annoying next up guys we have switcher x pro so i could just close out without have to hold down anything i could just swipe up to close out off anything in the app switcher instead of holding it down so it's just like ios 12 and i really like it so i'm going to my settings again and show you other tweaks that i have installed oh yeah one of my favorite tweaks guys my one of my favorite tweaks is called double cut so if you have like an email address that you always type in you could just hit this right here pull up double cut one one two and you can see my email comes up that I've be, that's one of like my most used tweaks on this phone right now it's super super useful if you're filling in out of stuff every day for me especially because i have to sign up for things sign things and i always need to enter my email address so by just double tapping that it gives it gives me the option real quick and you could choose other stuff as well like double tap i but i just think that at is more efficient okay guys another tweak that i want to talk about is called snapper 2 it's one of the most underrated tweaks and I, i've never heard anyone talk about it so let me just show you something what it could do it's a screenshot thing that you could snap any parts that you want so for example something posted in twitter and i want to just like probably copy it or something like that or just keep it on my phone for now so for example june's iphone right here oops i'll just take a screenshot highlight the parts that I want to highlight double press and if I go home as you can see it's still there and you could find a lot of views for this you could make it small you could make it larger there's a lot of things you could do with just having this right here for example you, you probably could go into your notes and jot down something and it's it would always be here you could have it right there you could be typing and when you're finished with it guys hold it down you could save it to your camera roll 
or you could get more options right here and add it to your notes you could share it to whatsapp anything of the sort or you could just clear it now if you take a screenshot with it and you don't want to snap it just press it again and it will just take a normal screenshot yes guys so if you made it to the end i want to say thank you for watching the video and i'm so happy to be back as i said before but if you actually made it this far hashtag controller down below in the comments guys and also i'll be reviewing this battle royal controller that control freak sent me so yeah keep that out of the way and also guys if you remember my jailbreak tweaks videos like if if you want to enter i'll be starting up again with slick wraps so i'll be giving away slick wrap skins to the winners of this competition so basically all you guys would send me your setups at chevron setups at gmail.com send me your best theme setup everything like that along with the tweaks and everything really organize the email guys and i'll choose the winners no no i will choose the winners i'll upload the video you guys choose the winners with a poll and then that winner will gain a slick wrap skin and also obviously a shout out because their names will be called so make sure when you're sending it you send your lock screen your home screen you could send your control center your music anything but most importantly lock screen home screen and the tweaks that are used simple as that nothing too serious and of course remember the wallpaper wallpaper is very important because everyone is gonna ask hey siobhan where's the wallpaper and i don't know where it is so please send in your wallpapers guys it's very important but yeah if you have a theme set up and you think that you're ready to to come into this battle because I, i'm telling you i'm here the king is here so if you guys are ready guys send it siobhan setups at gmail.com i'll be ready i'll be searching all of them and more videos are coming soon as always guys love i can't believe i'm actually saying this finally love peace and tweaks signing out